NFL season, week six. Let's look ahead. D Wood, who's going to have more receiving yards as they go head to head? Justin Jefferson or Tyreek Hill? Justin Jefferson. I mean, you're talking about the Miami Dolphins. They're going to be going with their third string quarterback again, Skylar Thompson, you know, in this game. And we know with the Miami Dolphins, their secondary, their st secondary is still banged up. Mm -hmm. Boy, it could be, what you said, boy, it could be like barbecue chicken out barbecue there for, chicken. for, uh, for Justin Jefferson in this game. So that's who I'm rolling with. He may have the biggest numbers of the whole league. Bart, who will have more rushing yards in this matchup at Lambeau Field, Brees Hall or Aaron Jones? I got to go. I got to go with Aaron Jones. I think they're going to run the ball on the Jets effectively. I think Brees Hall's value isn't just running the ball. As we saw last week, it's the fact that he can catch the ball. He's a great receiver, much like his uncle Roger Craig. So, listen, I know people think I'm giving the, the, the Packers some love. It's only because I'm going to give Brees Hall even more love. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you say Aaron Jones, and if by that you mean Brees Hall, I agree with you. Uh, Ninko, <laughs> who's going to have more total touchdowns, Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes? Oh, this is a tough one, Greeny, but I'm going to go with Josh Allen. He's, the guy's got four. 14 on the season. He had four last week. I, both of these quarterbacks are going to put up points. We know that. But I really think Josh Allen is on a mission. We saw that week one. We've seen him running over people, throwing DBs. So I'm going with Josh Allen. He's really motivated to, to really let the, the whole league know that he's the guy coming for that MVP race. Well, how much do you look forward to this game? I mean, we're calling it the trilogy here as these teams have played these epic games in recent years. And how about this? Kansas City's an underdog. It's the first time that they will be a home underdog since Patrick Mahomes became their starter. That's 42 wow. games. Mahomes' 7-0-1 career against the spread as an underdog overall. Again, obviously, all those have come on the road. Now, Graziano, you drew the best assignment of the weekend. You've got that game for us at ESPN. So as you start talking to people on both sides, what are the most important things the fans need to know? Well, I think the Buffalo's on a mission that, that Nico just said. I think that's a really big factor in their, in their mindset, right? Like, they... They know they can play with this team. They know that if the coin flip in overtime had gone the other way, they, they, they probably advanced to the next round of the playoffs last year. This is the team that has eliminated them in the postseason in this building two years in a row, even though Buffalo won in that building in the regular season last year. So it's an opportunity for them to not just make a statement, but you know, to, to prove to themselves that they can go in and beat this team. And you know, logistically, the, to maybe ensure that the AFC Championship game is in Buffalo instead of Kansas City this year, if, if they get that far. So uh, it, it's it's a it's a big game. I don't think anyone's soft pedaling this. One. And you remind me, that's right. They've actually played three times already. So this isn't yeah. a trilogy. What is it? The quadru <laughs> what, what what what's more than that? A quadrilogy? I don't know. We should have worked. That Whatever out comes after. No, I don't know. Theory, <laughs> theory. <laughs> My Purdue it's, it's education. Someone uh, tell me. Doesn't give me the vocabulary. I think it's a quadrilogy. One. Whatever anyway. it is. Who needs this game more, Buffalo or Kansas City? Buffalo needs this game more. And you think about controlling your own destiny. Buffalo wants to host somebody at their place in the playoffs. And every single one of these games in the AFC is going to matter at the end of the season. You want to be able to control your own fate. We saw what happened last year. They're extra motivated this year. We have seen that. So again, I, I think the Buffalo Bills to go in to Kansas City and beat this team is going to help them later in the season and when they hit the playoffs and they're trying to put something together here for a Super Bowl run, it's really nice when you can host somebody at your house in the AFC Championship. And how about the psychology of it? I mean, you two guys know from all the playoff wars that you were in, that serious, significant yeah. rivalries, Ravens, Steelers, Jets, yeah. Patriots, all that stuff that you guys live through. The, the psychology of beating these guys in their building. Oh, this, this one's personal. Like th This is one where you, in the offseason you were lifting weights, you were working out, thinking about salivating, about getting your hands on, on Patrick Mahomes, thinking about, like, the, like embarrassing them. Like, this becomes personal. Because if you're Buffalo, you feel like somebody else won your Super Bowl. Because you feel like if you, if you slay the dragon, if you beat Kansas City, there's no way that nobody else can stop you with that type of momentum. So if they get the, once they get this monkey off their back, and listen, they went out and they got the closer. They realized that they fell short because they couldn't close. They went out and got Von Miller, a.k.a. the Super Bowl whisperer, to come just for this reason. But they understand also that they're falling a little short in the run game. That's why they're starting to, you know, knock on the door of the Panthers and say, hey, is Christian McCaffrey available? Huh. They want to remove all doubt. You talk about forget them picks. They saying forget them picks. It's, it's on. I, I get it because right now their primary running attack is their quarterback, Josh Allen. Yeah. And, and that, to me, has disaster written all over it. What do you think, T. Wood? How about the significance of this game psychologically and beyond that? It's everything. It's everything if you're the Buffalo Bills. Again, yeah, they won in the regular, in the regular season, but think about it. The team that they had to go through eliminated them both, both times, the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. So everything that the Buffalo Bills have done is really with one team in mind. How do we beat the Kansas yep. City Chiefs? That's why you go out and get Von Miller. That's why you make these moves that the Buffalo Bills have made over the past couple, you know, couple offseasons. It's for one. It's for one reason. One reason only. 
We have to find a way to beat Kansas City and make everybody come through us yep. instead of us going to Kansas City. The one other factor in all this, I think we all expected coming into the season that Kansas City is going to have the toughest time dealing in their own division, that this was going to be this historically <laughs> great division. Well, as it turns out, I was wrong. Uh, uh, Denver, Russ can't cook. Uh, that's what I mean. Denver is wrong. I was very wrong. Denver is unwatchable. The Raiders yeah. have only one win, uh, and the Chargers uh, up and down their coach, uh, not Kansas so much. Kansas City beat them already. Yeah, yeah. And exactly. So right. uh, the point is that maybe it's actually the Bills who need this one more, even from that standpoint. Danny. Yeah, because they lost the game to Miami in their own division, Correct. right? The Jets look like they're live. The Patriots are playing a little better than maybe we thought. Yeah, absolutely. That That's entirely possible. But I, I think this is this is about bigger things for the Buffalo Bills than the division. They know they can win that division. Yeah. What they don't know is can they be the beasts of the conference and, 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 and replace Kansas City uh, in that. All right, let's see what everybody thinks. We'll put the picks up on the screen. It is the Bills, it is the Chiefs. I haven't seen the picks. Oh, no, oh we got oh, it. Oh, oh. That's two in a row. I need more. Everybody's need more on Buffalo. We're gonna have to make mm. some changes. Wow. Fix. That. Whoa. Who's I'm changing? I'm not changing. Them. I'm so, What know, are you changing? Andy Reid no. in the NFL season, week six. Let's look ahead. D. Wood. Who's gonna have more receiving yards as they go head to head? Justin Jefferson or Tyreek Hill? Justin Jefferson. I mean, you're talking about the Miami Dolphins. They're gonna be going with their third string quarterback again, Skylar Thompson. You know, in this game, and we know with the Miami Dolphins, their secondary, their st secondary is still banged up. Mm -hmm. Boy, it could be what you said, boy, it could be like barbecue chicken out barbecue there for, chicken. for, uh, for Justin Jefferson in this game. So that's who I'm rolling with. He may have the biggest numbers of the whole league. Bart, who will have more rushing yards in this matchup at Lambeau Field, Brees Hall or Aaron Jones? I gotta go. I gotta go with Aaron Jones. I think they're gonna run the ball on the Jets effectively. I think Brees Hall's value isn't just running the ball, as we saw last week. It's the fact that he can catch the ball. He's a great receiver, much like his uncle Roger Craig. So listen, I know people think I'm giving the, the, the Packers some love. It's only because I'm gonna give Brees Hall even more love. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so you say Aaron Jones, and if by that you mean Brees Hall, I agree with you. Uh, Ninko, <laughs> who's gonna have more total touchdowns, Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes? Oh, this is a tough one, Greeny, but I'm gonna go with Josh Allen. He's, the guy's got. Four 14 on the season. He had four last week. I, both of these quarterbacks are going to put up points. We know that. But I really think Josh Allen is on a mission. We saw that week one. We've seen him running over people, throwing DBs. So I'm going with Josh Allen. He's really motivated to, to really let the, the whole league know that he's the guy coming for that MVP race. Well, how much do you look forward to this game? I mean, we're calling it the trilogy here as these teams have played these epic games in recent years. And how about this? Kansas City's an underdog. It's the first time that they will be a home underdog since Patrick Mahomes became their starter. That's 42 wow. games. Mahomes 7-0-1 career against the spread as an underdog overall. Again, obviously all those have come on the road. Now, Graziano, you drew the best assignment of the weekend. You've got that game for us at ESPN. So as you start talking to people on both sides, what are the most important things the fans need to know? Well, I think the, the Buffalo's on a mission that, that Nico just said. I think that's a really big factor in their, in their mindset, right? Like they... They know they can play with this team. They know that if the coin flip in overtime had gone the other way, they, they, they probably advanced to the next round of the playoffs last year. This is the team that has eliminated them in the postseason in this building two years in a row, even though Buffalo won in that building in the regular season last year. So it's an opportunity for them to not just make a statement, but you know, to, to prove to themselves that they can go and beat this team. And you know, logistically, the, to maybe ensure that the AFC Championship game is in Buffalo instead of Kansas City this year, if, if they get that far. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a big game. I don't think anyone's soft-pedaling this one. And you remind me, that's right, they've actually played three times already, so this isn't yeah. the trilogy. What is it, the quadrilogy? What, 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 what's more than that? A quadrilogy? I don't know. Well, should have worked that Whatever out comes after. I don't know. I don't theory, like theory. <laughs> My Purdue education. Someone uh, tell me. Doesn't give me the vocabulary. I think it's a quadrilogy, whatever anyway. it is. Who needs this game more, Buffalo or Kansas City? B Buffalo needs this game more. And, and you think about controlling your own destiny. Buffalo wants to host somebody at their place in the playoffs. And every single one of these games in the AFC is going to matter at the end of the season. You want to be able to control your own fate. We saw what happened last year. They're extra motivated this year. We have seen that. So, again, I, I think the Buffalo Bills to go in to Kansas City and beat this team is going to help them later in the season and when they hit the playoffs and they're trying to put something together here for a 